Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karina and I am introducing you today. He's never been, well, you have been in a YouTube video. Yeah. But no one knew, well, I'm sure some people will know you. But some, if you don't, this is Carlos. And we're gonna be doing a Q&A to introduce him into my channel because you might be seeing him appear here and there from now on. I have a lot of questions, so we're probably not gonna be able to answer them all, and some of them are kind of weird. So we're just gonna answer the most important ones. All right. So question one: How did we meet? You can answer this. We met back in high school. What year? 2016. 2016. No, 2015. Junior year. 2015. 2015. I met her in my history. No, it wasn't history. Was it history? Yes, history. Oh, no, 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 government. Let's go. Let's go. So we met in our high school AP government class. We were just friends back then, and then eventually Things Carlos escalated. made the move. You made the move. I didn't make the move. I don't know. How did I make the move? I don't know. I just heard through the grapevine some things, and I was just like, and then I actually no, yeah, I was the first move. I made the first move. Just because you heard things through the grapevine doesn't mean you didn't make the first move. That's the grapevine. I have no control over the grapevine. All right, I made the first move. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And how was the first move? Do you remember? This, mind um, you, this was like, what, five years ago? Five, five and a half, something like that, years ago. So let's see if you remember, because I remember. No, yeah, like, I just remember once, um, like, we were texting in class. I don't, I don't do this anymore. Oh, yeah, sure. No, I'm a good student now. Sure. Um, so yeah, like, we were just texting in class, and then in between our blocks, I just texted her. I was like, oh, like, meet me up at, like, in the hallway. I'll tell you class I was so whatever. scared. And I was in the class with his best friend, and I was like, tell me. Marco? Yeah, I was like, tell me, tell Marco, me. Marco like, don't spill. I'm so, like, this is so stressful. And, like, he was acting on nonchalant. He was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I was, like, freaking out. I had to keep it mysterious, you know. Girls are into mysterious, guys. So, I just said, like, oh, like, meet me between class. And, like, that's it. Meet like, me after math class. I'm just there, like, and like that's it like i just didn't say anything else and then like yeah like i just pulled it to the side and he and confessed his love for me was, his likingness to me it's like i confessed my likingness and it was extremely nice because he was being extremely straight up no games yeah. no games in this relationship yeah but it was easy to do since i already knew that she was very into me thanks to the great friend so what's your favorite thing to do together cuddle what's your favorite thing to do my favorite thing to do with you is watch Netflix shows or like TV shows. And what do we do? While cuddling. Ah, oh, right. But is that really your favorite thing to do with me? Oh, he says his favorite thing to do with me is eat dinner. You still remember that? What? That was like this year. And when he told me that, I was like, what? But uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. I do like to eat. Who is the more spontaneous one? I think I'm more spontaneous. Uh, but then it says, who's the planner? And I'm also the planner. You can be spontaneous and be the planner. Yes. You're just the planner. Bro, because I'm you definitely can have a spontaneous mood and a planning mm -hmm. mood. I'm definitely more than just like go with the flow, like we'll go with the wind, go whatever with the, the wind takes us, and like that's isn't it. Spontaneous. That's what it is. No, go with the flow means you go with the flow. Spontaneous means you just be like, all right, let's go, we out, let's go do this adventure. And I'm more the vibe to do that. You would be like, no, I don't want to do that today. I still think I'm spontaneous, even if he thinks he's. I mean, more I'm not saying I'm not saying you're not spontaneous. I'm just saying you're not as spontaneous. But she plans everything. Everything. But you like that about me, right? Of course. This question is good. Tips on being emotionally vulnerable with someone you want to pursue a relationship with. I think, I've kind of briefly mentioned this before, it's super important to be straight up with the person and not play any games. Like, no like playing hard to get and being super immature. Like, literally just be straight up with what you want from the beginning and make sure that the other person is also in the same mindset, is on the same wavelength, so that way there's no miscommunication, and there's no like stressing, he said, he said, she said, and it's just annoying, and it just starts the relationship off with on a mature level. Like I would definitely say being emotion, like emotionally vulnerable isn't easy, um, especially for some people, just to, to like past trauma, like past bad, bad, like, bad relationships, like, just bad things happen, like it's easy to like, keep that with you forever and it gets tough to let it go you just need to be in a good like mental space in a good spiritual space and like i feel like this like, like it's very important to be able to be happy alone and be able to just be happy with yourself love yourself before you commit to like loving somebody else too because it's hard to love somebody else and be emotionally vulnerable with somebody else if you don't love yourself and if you are like in tune with your emotions yeah and, like, i was gonna say also that it's fine if you have 
trouble being emotionally vulnerable with someone when you kind of just met this person or it's like something more new i think that it's okay to give yourself a free pass to give yourself time to like warm up to the person before you let your guard down because i would say you shouldn't be emotionally vulnerable with just anyone because then it's just gonna make it harder and harder for you to be emotionally vulnerable the next time you have to be so give yourself grace in that sense okay this this is a juicy one okay and we're both gonna answer it and you're, you're gonna be honest about it okay. favorite and least favorite thing about each other okay i'll go first my favorite thing about you is your positive vibes you could like spark up a room with your energy and your happiness and your giddiness Okay, um, thank you. Or you're not done. Oh, you're no, you're it. already here with that's the it. least. I'm, I'm already also, released. what you're saying is the least favorite that thing wants you like bam, like quick style. Okay, I see how it is. Let's go. Cool. Least favorite is probably how you're a little bit OCD <laughs> for certain things. Um, <laughs> and it's just like everything has to be like perfect. It's not even just like towards me, but like just like in general, like everything needs to be like perfect. But why not make it perfect if you can? I kind of spoke about this like a couple times already, but one of my favorite things about you is that you're really straight up and that you know what you want. So me, I'm a very indecisive person, but Carlos, he knows what he wants from the beginning and like nothing will ever like change the fact that he already knows what he wants, how he wants it, etc, etc. And then the least favorite thing about him is stubbornness. There's nothing, there's nothing that I'm like extremely like, I hate that. Like, this is my least favorite thing about him. But something that does bother me is like, he's very stubborn about things. But I will say this, you do see the end of the like tunnel. You're not like so stubborn where it's like literally no one could come into you otherwise. I don't think so. Like I still think that you give people the benefit of the doubt. Next question. <laughs> something you have learned from your significant other. I definitely learned to be more open with my emotions. Yes. Shout out Nina, she helped me just like. Carlos used to be super closed off with his emotions. Yeah. Like you couldn't even tell what he was feeling, thinking. It was just like, hello, are you there? And then over the years. Or it wasn't that bad. It was. And I'm just more expressive. It was me. really bad at first when like we were young and then little by little when he started getting com more comfortable with me and like we started going through more things together is when he was able to be more open with me but in the beginning it was a rough city. Something I've learned about you is to trust the process or you know what I'm still learning this but it's definitely helped me having you there to like constantly remind me to just go with the flow because it's hard. It's hard not knowing what's next and Carlos is just very like just vibe bro just vibe. And I'm like, oh, okay, so easy. Okay, next question. First impression of each other. I really didn't have my first impression of him just in face to face because one of my friends showed me him on Instagram before I met him. So I had already seen him, kind of known his IG backstory. And my first impression was that he was cute, short, and he seemed nice. But really, then my first impression when I met him in person was kind of biased by the fact that like I had Loki already like stalked him on IG because of my friend. She she was stalking him. We were just friends at that point, so it was just like friend vibes. All right, you. What was um, your first impression of me? I've never heard of this. Okay, my first impression was that your laugh is super funny. Um, <laughs> what do you funny good right? <laughs> of course. No, but yeah, like in class, like I forget, like like there was like something happened. Like, we you just sat like laughing. diagonal to each other. Yeah, like you just started laughing. I was like, <laughs> like she has a funny laugh. I like, guess it. I wonder if other people think I have a weird laugh. It's not, I never said it's weird. I just said it's funny. Whatever. It's unique. It makes me unique. Exactly. Our friend Julian asks, if you Shout guys didn't you. know, if you guys didn't know, Carlos is currently in medical school. He started about like what two weeks ago. Yep, two weeks. And no, three. three weeks ago, so he obviously has no idea. Like, well, not no idea, but. He's not sure in what specialty he wants to end up doing, but he is leaning towards surgery. And I've always told him that I thought he would be a neurosurgeon because of the fact that I feel like he would be a savage and take on the hardest one. I I'm telling you, like how I see him is a neurosurgeon. So I think he's gonna be a neurosurgeon. No, but that is what I see him doing. Really? What about you? What do you see yourself doing? What do I see myself doing? No idea. <laughs> Orthopedic surgery. Okay, so this the same our same friend Julian asks, what is it like dating a medical student? So far, so good. Obviously, he's in his first year, and usually first year is like the looks part of it. Yeah, he has more like time on his hands. So and for the most part, Carlos is very dedicated into like 
getting into medical, a good medical school. So he's always been really busy with school, always doing like extracurricular activities, studying, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm used to him always being busy with school, and I don't really it doesn't bother me anymore. And right now it's kind of the same thing, except the stakes are just a little higher. And I'm sure that when he gets a little bit busier, it'll be the same thing. I mean, we find time to hang out with each other. My friend Vicky asks. If we go to a restaurant, what is your significant other's go-to order? I would say Carlos' go-to order is either a pasta or a burger. In like a generic restaurant that has like multiple things, I think those are the two that he'd probably choose. I'm a little bit more picky, but I feel like you can... I don't know. You're so picky, so... Yeah. It really depends what is available. I'm thinking like a generic what? restaurant that has like pastas, burgers, wings. Something like, like that. I'd probably just get like a plain cheeseburger or something. I'd probably get a plain cheeseburger or like a plain pasta as well. Pasta bolognese. Like I'll probably get a pasta or a burger as well. Probably won't experiment. It's very unlikely. And you either. What are your biggest pet peeves? Well, I know I mine. I already said mine. No, that's your least favorite thing. Not your pet peeves. Yeah, my pet peeve. My pet peeve is that he does annoying repetitive movements on me. Like he'll be like or like bite me hard and I'm just like, can you stop? And then he's like, no, I can't stop. And he just never stops and he won't stop. It's very stressful because it gives me anxiety. Imagine you're just trying to watch a show and then you have someone in the scene. I would just randomly like slap your shoulder. Like you just like grab some, like a, whatever and then just do the same movement over so and over. Grabable. Yeah, but it's annoying cause uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's uh, stressful. My pet peeve what? is your voice. <laughs> My um, <laughs> Imagine My biggest pet peeve is you like touching my stuff That's me like, hard it's just one like, I just like I'm not like extremely organized But I'm not disorganized either Like everything I put I put somewhere like and I know like that's where I put it Whatever this is just something we're gonna have to disagree on for like a while Because organization obsessed doesn't care for organization I just think chargers belong next to electrical outlets, not in some random drawer. He leaves his charger randomly out, like dangling out of the wall. It's just random. I think it's random. Question. Well, honestly, I don't know how to answer this question because I don't think there's anything. Seeker, you've never told your significant other. Okay, so. You seem so guilty. <laughs> Go. Just give um, me something dumb. I know it. So, remember when we were watching New Group together? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah, so like you just faced at me one day, you're just like, oh, like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, just watching like a basketball game or something. It was a basketball game. You were watching New Girl? How many episodes? Did nah, you re watch them? I re watched the episodes with you. It was two, though, I think. You're such a liar. It was two. You lied to me. Bah! <laughs> mm -hmm. That just means that I'm, I'm just mm -hmm. such a perfect girlfriend that I don't mm -hmm. keep secrets from you. Unlike you that tries to watch New Girl without me. Wait, let's tell the audience, Carlos. How many years did you judge me for watching that show? Finally, he watches it, he's obsessed with it. Of course, because why wouldn't he be? I knew he would like it. Okay, I'm not gonna answer this one because I genuinely don't have a secret I've never told you. Um, most excited thing about living together? Probably more than Carlos. I wasn't really scared about living together because we've been together for so long and we would hang out so much that like I just we just knew so much about each other I mean a lot of people said it would be like an adjustment I mean it hasn't really been too much of an adjustment for me like I'm not having a hard time with it at all so I mean I'm sure it's just an individualized experience for everyone it just depends I was scared about the cooking situation to be honest cooking last time she cooked for me I Got food poisoning. He's literally, bro. Um, this guy thinks I gave him food poisoning from a bagel and cream cheese. Like that's literally impossible. And I ate the same exact thing, and nothing happened to me. It was pasta. Okay, sorry, pasta with with a jar of red sauce. I don't know what you and did. I ate the same thing. What is your favorite memory together? My fa favorite memory with Carlos is when we came and visited New York. That trip. Like our, our yeah, our three year anniversary trip. I have a lot of good memories, but like that one just was very special to us. My most memorable moment with Korea was probably when we went to Cancun. When we went to Cancun? Yeah. There's a lot of stories in that trip. That was a fun trip. And it was like a first the, that was like our I first out of country. That was our first out, out of country, country I think. vacation experience. It was like his uncle's wedding and I met like his side his family that lives in Colombia. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. That was nice. And we had like a like a bougie Hotel, so it was really cool. The you question is basically about? the question is basically like how excited or scared are you about moving to, to a, a new, new city? city. Wait, finish my question. Sorry. <laughs> that you're gonna say it wrong because it was OCD. OCD. <laughs> this is being controlled. Let's start take it from the top. 
<laughs> How excited or scared are you of moving out, especially to a new city? I was really like not nervous about living in New York, but I was, I am scared. I'm still going through it with not knowing anyone or having friends and struggling with that and missing like my fam. But like the actual new city, I mean, I'm having fun, it's, it's fine. Yeah, I agree. I feel like moving to a new city is less of a problem, more so like moving out from like my family's house. I don't know, I've been with them for so long. And like yeah. I'm super attached. To it's them. sad, but we're getting through it. I love New York. New York is so awesome. We love it so yeah. much. Like I didn't expect any like conflicts about like, like New York City life or anything. Last question we got was, when was your first kiss? No, your, the, your first kiss story. So first kiss, we went out with a group of our friends at the time. Um, we went to go see Deadpool, one or two. I don't even know that that I was love the Deadpool. movie. Um, <laughs> whatever, we went out and then whatever, like, we held hands during the movie, like, whatever, nothing happened. You know that suspenseful, um, like when you have to like, you guys both know yeah. your hands are next to each other. So, so whatever, like we left, like whatever, I could still get around the cheek. I didn't have a car, so my boy Marco was driving me, and she had a car, so she was like driving her and her other friend. And I don't know, like, I don't, I forgot what happened. The point is that, like, somehow, like, I found out that, like, she was like, oh, like, I want you to kiss This me is or like on the process of us just driving out of a parking garage. Yeah, so we were driving down a parking garage, and then I told my boy Marco, I was like, yo, Marco, like, this is what I just found out. And he's like, oh. I gotta make this happen. I was like, he's like, don't worry, I got you. He did not do that. Yes. <laughs> he's like, oh, don't worry. And then he just like sped down the ramp. He literally she... skipped my car and broke in front of me yeah, so like... that I had to stop on a, in the middle of the Dolphin Mall ramp in Miami. So yeah, like she, like he literally just like cut her off. And then she was like, so crazy. Like, oh my God, what's happening? And so like, I just got off the car, I ran to the window and like I should lower it. And she's like, what are you doing? And like, I kissed her and then she kissed me back and then. Like and I was like, oh my god, and my friend was literally right next to me, she was like, oh my god, and we were just shook, and we were like, ah, and it was so cute and spontaneous. Yeah, fancy scene, I'm the more spontaneous one. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, example, example <laughs> eight. I mean, that one was pretty spontaneous. I will give you that much. So that's our last question. We got a mixture of like life questions, advice, our, rela our actual relationship. I'm excited that you guys got to meet Carlos finally. You guys will definitely be seeing him around because he'll be here when I'm filming or whatever it may be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below any video ideas if you guys are interested that you want Carlos to come and be a part of. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace out guys.